Hi everyone, so we have another flea market haul to share with you guys because if you missed the last video we did um, on hauls, our flea market is open again and this week we found some really cool American Girl stuff. It was hot, hot, hot outside and so there weren't as many people set up and we were actually almost done walking through the flea market when we found this stuff. Uh, we got a bunch of like really old American Girl furniture and the first thing I noticed was Felicity's bed, but I'll have to like take the camera off a tripod so you can see it. The seller was really nice. He knew that it was all real American Girl and he had been like doing some research, but he was selling it cheap because the stuff was like damaged in some way. And he was also realistic that most people weren't going to pay for retail yeah. flea market. Um, great. so we got Felicity's little nightstand, her bedside table. And, uh, it was $5. Yep. Yeah, it still has its drawer. This was in really nice shape. And this is marked Pleasant Company, but that doesn't mean that it is Pleasant Company. They used Pleasant Company stickers well into the early 2000s. And if you didn't know, Mattel bought out Pleasant Company in 1998. So um, they own the rights to the name Pleasant Company, and they were just using stickers and tags. So we don't really know how old it truly is, but. It's really nice quality and really beautiful. And I'm saying it's probably from the time we were growing up, like the 90s, the early 2000s, anywhere in there, really. And then um, he had Felicity's table. So this is like her birthday, from her birthday set. Um, sadly, the chairs weren't there. And this was $5 because some of the screws on the bottom were um, loose. And I was able to tighten them, but you have to be careful. It's, it's really heavy and really well made and even though I don't have the chairs right now this is still really awesome to have and maybe I can find some cheap chairs online or something. And uh, then he had a separate pile of stuff that he wasn't sure whether or not it was American Girl because it didn't have tags but I recognize this right away. I'm super excited. I have Addie's authentic sled. So my dad actually made me um, a sled like this when I was a kid, it was Christmas 97, Colleen got um, a Radio Flyer inspired sled, so my dad was like really good at making stuff. And we've shown our homemade sleds before in an episode of Dolly Diaries, and we do plan to eventually do a video on like some of our other 18 inch stuff, that um, whether my dad made it or it was just stuff that we got over the years um, that was an American Girl, but it's really cool to have our actual sled because I do have two Addie dolls, so uh, my childhood doll Addie, lays claim to the sled dad made me which of course I love the best but then a duke can have this really cool one it is missing the like strap thing you can kind of see the nails but this was only five dollars I'm really fond of this like this is probably my favorite thing we got today because I have a special place in my heart not just for Addie or Felicity but for Addie and Jen uh, for Addie's sled especially because um that Christmas mom had picked Shelly Addie's coat that goes to the set so when I see this sled in pictures, I always think of that Christmas. Yeah, um, that was my very first American Girl outfit was Addie's, a winter coat, and I got the corresponding hat, um, what was it, derby and mittens. And so Dad decided that he would make the sled to go with it and Molly a sled, which was really, it was really cute how Mom and Dad kind of worked together on that. So I will show you Felicity's bed, and there is some like extra bedding and stuff, but I'm really excited. Um, I didn't buy Felicity a lot of stuff as a kid because I was just terrible at buying things for my dolls. I always wanted more dolls. I think Shelly and I were like polar opposites. I think I was focused to the point of obsession and missing out on other things. And she was so unfocused that she missed out on things that she, like, she passed up Mary Kate and Ashley stuff while she was really into Mary Kate and Ashley for like regular Barbie stuff that she wasn't in the long run going to enjoy as much. We had like polar opposite problems. But one of the reasons I wanted Felicity in the first place is because she has a beautiful collection. I love colonial stuff. Like if I'm watching something and I see like a colonial dress people, I'm automatically like interested in what's going on. I don't know. I just, I just love that era in history. I'm fascinated by it. So I'm really excited that as an adult I've gotten some of her things. And um, we actually did get a piece of her nighttime necessity set. This is her little coal warmer so like you put coals in here and then like stick it in your bed to keep you warm. So cute. Um, it's really well made. It's beautiful. And this is also tag. He kind of just threw this in so I'm ex really excited. I know it doesn't have like much practical value for display but I was always jealous when I saw that Colleen had really cool stuff like this for Molly but I just don't generally speaking think it's worth the original price point like for my uses. So I'll show you the bed. 
So this is her gorgeous bed. I saw it on the table and I was like, wait, Colleen, that's Felicity's bed. And there's a crack on the, um, like right here, you can see it's kind of cracked, which uh, is why he sold this to us for $25. But it has all the bedding that I'm aware of, or most of it. So like you can see there's pillows. Um, I think this is actually the pillow that goes yep, to that's it. Because it's tagged. But there's also these extra pillows which I can use for um, the homemade this is actually bed. actually really well made. I know, the homemade bed I have for Addy doesn't have any uh, bedding for it, so. But it's got the mattress, the blanket, the curtains, and this must be the pillow. Yes. It's really, really beautiful. I love it. And um, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it yet, but it's awesome. I love their beds. And Julie's bed I got last year for $10. Year before, um, Year before in 2018. Didn't have the pillow. So this is really, really awesome. I'm super excited. So this is everything all cleaned up. I decided to show it to you while it was set up before the thumbnail. Colleen did a really nice job with this. So I did wipe down all of the furniture pieces with some all-purpose cleaner um, and because they are real wood I could go over it with like a polish if I wanted but I use the all-purpose cleaner just to get any germs off um, and I know it's safe for wood because I use it all the time. This is not an American Girl tea set this is actually one that my parents bought me for Christmas when I was a kid to use on my American Girls and you can see it got a little chip on the teapot but it looks really great with Elizabeth's dress um, yeah, this table was supposed to tilt, but I had to screw mine down really good, so it does not. And then we have this really cute little nightstand with the opening drawer, which I love. And this looks like straight out of the catalog. Felicity with her little uh, bed warmer. And I was right when I was doing research. Basically, Felicity would put coals in this, stick it under her sheets, rub it back and forth to make it nice and warm for herself. And, um... I took off, like all of these are tied on, so I had to take, untie everything, take it off the bed, um, and uh, we hand washed this. Now, in my experience, anything red especially bleeds, and we've had to wash American Girl bedding in the past that was red mollies, and it bled like crazy. So if you're gonna wash bedding, which if you're buying it secondhand and it's really old, like this was obviously not the original owner, so, and it was old, so I wanted to wash it, especially because I didn't want my clean doll sitting on something nasty. It's really important to wash them in cold water, and if they're like red or you're afraid they're gonna bleed, separate them as much as possible. So Colleen put all this checkered stuff in one um, tub to wash, and then she put this counterpane in another tub to wash, and she put a bunch of color catchers in, and we only let them soak for like a half an hour. And a lot of red dye did come out of this, but because of the color catchers, you can see none of the white is affected. And as for the mattress and the pillow, um, you can hand wash that, and Colleen kind of threw them in their own thing, but in hindsight, I should have just thrown them right in the regular wash. I have washed like uh, mattresses and pillows before just in the regular washing machine. You can put them in a pillowcase if you want because the thing is they're stuffed and it's the stuffing that collects the dust. So if you hand wash it and then you hang it to dry, what's going to happen is you're going to get ring marks, like big dust ring marks. Um, so I just threw it in the wash and dried it in the dryer and it was fine like just check the tags if there are any but for like regular just plushy stuff it's fine I love it I think it's adorable and then of course we have a duke and the sled here I feel bad for her it's super hot today and she's wearing this I'm not keeping her in that I'm leaving Elizabeth yeah. in the uh, tea outfit because why take her out of it but um, I'm putting Felicity and the Duke back on what they were wearing before but it's so adorable and it feels like unreal having this many authentic American girl pieces. It's really exciting. Um, yeah, it's like a, a childhood dream come true. Some of these, like, that's not real American girl. That was my grandmother's that we just put with Felicity. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.